and start gonna draw a burger monster. Yeah, when it's folded up, it'll just look like a cute burger, and then when you open it, it'll be a scary burger mm -hmm. with melty cheese. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a marker. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's put our markers off to the side and fold our paper. We're gonna take the top edge, line it up with the bottom edge, and when you get it lined up, Press down and crease it in the middle and then out to the corners. Then we'll take this top flap and we're going to line it up with the top edge. We can line it up and then crease it down. Then let's flip over our paper and repeat the same step. We're going to take that top flap, line it up and crease it down the middle. Now this is just a guide fold, so we're going to unfold that, flatten it out, and then flip it back over. And so when you're all finished, your paper should open up like this. Next, we'll put under our drawing paper some scratch paper just to protect our table. It doesn't have to be red, I just like red because it matches our table. Next, we're ready to draw. We have our markers and we're going to try to draw this line on top of the fold without drawing it down here. It might be a little tricky, but I'm going to we're gonna to try to just do it right above, right above the fold. And that's okay if you get a little bit underneath. I'm gonna turn it this way so I could draw that line a little straighter. It's so tricky trying to draw that without drawing over the fold. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is our tomato level. And you could add also different ingredients to your burger if you wanted to. We're gonna draw the tomato slice coming up on each side. And then let's draw the lettuce level. We're gonna layer, we're gonna draw a wiggly, wobbly, wavy line that comes across to the other side. And look at the end, I kind of curl it back in. Yeah, now let's draw the top bun. We're gonna draw a line that connects the two sides of the lettuce together. And then we're going to draw a big upside down U shape or rainbow line for the very top of the bun. So we're going to come up like this and then back down and connect. Nice. I like it. Now let's also draw the layers below the fold and we're going to draw our cheese level first. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line that comes out on each side. And then let's draw a line that comes up like this and then I'm going to come back down. So we're going to have another little corner in here and then back up. So there's our melty cheese. It's kind of folding down. And then what's the next level we need? The patty. Yes. Let's draw a curve right here underneath the cheese on both sides. And then let's connect the bottom of those two lines together. Let some thick meat. <laughs> oh, yes. And then we're going to draw. Oh, keep going. Oh, that? Okay. <laughs> now we're going to draw the bottom bun. We're going to draw that same kind of looks like the meat patty layer. We're going to draw two curves coming down. And you could even add more layers if you wanted to. This could be a second patty. We're going to connect these two lines for the bottom bun. We did it. Now let's add a funny face or funny eyes to our hamburger. We're going to draw a circle over here on the left. And you could change these eyes. So you don't have to draw them exactly the same as me. You could also make your eyes angry if you, <laughs> if you wanted to make your burger a little scarier. I'm going to draw smaller circles inside for the highlight and then color in the big circle but leave that little circle white. We did it, Hadley. Now we're ready to open up our paper and then flatten out the folds so that it's easier to draw on. This next part you can change as much as you want. You can add as many details and as many fun surprises inside of this folding area. You just want to make sure that you draw it below the top fold and above the bottom fold so that when it's folded up like this, it's all hidden. Let's first draw melty cheese mm -hmm. on the top of our hamburger. So we'll start here and let's draw little drips. I'm going to draw, they kind of look like raindrops, but I'm going to draw some of them really long and some shorter. And some of them can be small and some big. We're going to go all the way across and we're not connecting 
on the sides over here. Yeah, leave a little space. And then we can draw the teeth. Let's start here. We're going to draw a sharp tooth that comes out. And we're going to do a lot of overlapping with the cheese. And then I'm going to draw another sharp tooth behind the cheese. Oh, let's draw more, lots of zigzags that come over. The sharper you make these teeth, the scarier your burger's going to look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love yours. Okay, now let's draw the melty cheese down here. And this time, because this is dripping down and this at the bottom isn't dripping, it's just kind of down here. So we're just gonna draw small waves across to the side. Then let's draw the sharp teeth here. We can draw, first let's draw a letter M right in the middle. And the outside edges are curved. Then we can draw more curved teeth on the side, left side. And I'm gonna connect into the melty cheese right here. And then I'll draw curved teeth going the other direction and then connect in to the melted cheese. Yes! All right, now let's draw a really scary tongue. We'll start here and let's draw a curve that comes out around and then we can even curl around. Then let's start at the end of the tongue and draw a point. And then as we come this way, look how it's getting thicker and thicker until we come all the way over to the other side of the mouth. Oh, that looks really, really cool. Okay, now I'm getting scared, even though I'm hungry. Okay, let's keep, <laughs> let's draw the side of the mouth connecting. So I'm gonna draw a curvy, wavy line that connects to the tongue. We're gonna imagine it going behind the tongue and connecting down to the teeth. And let's do the same thing on this side. Draw it wavy and curve into the bottom teeth. Now let's draw the melty cheese on the very outside of the mouth. We'll start up here on the tomato slice and we're gonna draw a, looks like a raindrop that comes out and then back in. And then we're gonna draw it behind the tongue and come back in. And then we're going to draw coming all the way down here. Oh, maybe one more drip. And then we're going to connect into the cheese at the very bottom. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. We're going to add lots of little drips. And I'm going to connect in there and then come down further. Oh, one more big drip. And then connect to the cheese down at the bottom. I love how our burger mouth looks like it's made out of melted cheese. It looks really scary, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, it's gonna look so much better colored in. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You could also add extra details inside, like maybe french fries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it, we finished drawing and coloring our burger monster. It looks super cool, all folded up. But let's show our friends the inside. On the count of three. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Roar! <laughs> <laughs> I love all of the french fries you added to the inside, especially the ketchup. It looks really spooky. I like your french fries too, but you could add whatever you want. Yeah, you could change your drawings. You could add onion rings or maybe even ice cream. Maybe your burger monster is eating a big sundae. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your burger monster. We do, and we hope you take extra time to color and add things to the inside. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye. Oh, oh you're, no. <laughs> my burger's gonna eat your burger. Arr.